Hello, well, I guess Istralid fans, and also, I guess Zero K fans. I'm gonna do something on Istralid. So, for those of you not familiar with either Istralid or Zero K or Spring or me, I do a bunch of commentated matches for a game called Zero K, which is a game based off Total Annihilation that is made on the Spring engine, which is an engine that was developed to basically facilitate Total Annihilation-based games into the future. And one of the core developers of that, Sackdoth, went off and made Istralid, which is a multiplayer ship-building customization capture point RTS. And I figure I might as well check it out, because why not? I mean, it's... Actually, I've played it a little bit. I have already played the game a bit, but I haven't played the Steam release version of it. So I was kind of curious, and I figured, you know what, why not? Because, like I said, Sackdoth was a developer for Zero K, which is my main game that I actually do stuff on. Why not show off their new game? And I will. And I'm not sure where to start because... Well, what's the campaign? Oh. Okay, I'll start with the campaign. Huh. Well, that's pretty simple. You have your standard line move, you have your standard... Okay, so very simple. Not even campaign, it's just tutorial, but that's good. Good to have the tutorial. But yeah, so line move, very glad it's in this game, although I already kind of knew it was in this game, is a core feature of the Spring Engine, and nothing else! I can't think of any other game that I've ever seen line move used in, because... I don't know why, actually. I found it really strange. But yeah, line move is awesome. Because you can just get stuff to move around in a very sensible way. But yeah, this is, like I said, a pretty simple overall game. Does actually share a lot. I bring up Zero K a bit because it does share a few design sensibilities. I mean, physics, for instance, are totally accurate. They're based off of simulation. They're not... Like weapons hit because they're simulated to hit, not because they are just calculated. They, not because there's some hit chance or something, but because there's actually a simulation. No, whoops. Need to capture every point. Yes, yes. I get it. But yeah, that is... That's one of the key things that's true in both games. And like I said, line move is another thing that was pulled out of the spring engine completely, which is really cool. But yeah, that is basic aspect of it. So... Okay, interesting. So I guess it's just... Wow! That's... So that's the campaign, huh? So it's the general kind of... Oh, what is it called? I'm not sure what it's called, but that, that kind of system where you have a bunch of options to go for. Huh, okay. I mean, it's not uncommon. A lot of RTS games do that. What the heck? Oh, I see. Left click to add to the queue, right click to remove from queue. But yeah, so this is interesting. This sort of thing does exist for Zero K as well, or did at one point. It's called Planet Wars, this kind of campaign setup. But that was a multiplayer thing, too. In the case of Istralid, it's that's purely single player, but after a couple matches, I will go off to the multiplayer. Just figuring, you know, it's a good idea. This is probably where they expect people to start, so I might as well start here. See what's happening. See how they do it. Very rapidly, apparently. Of course, you can put these kind of wherever. It actually doesn't really matter where you put these things. Like, there's actually... The physics system does not extend to the ship design, so there's nothing about the shape of the ships. Unless they changed that since the alpha. But at least in the alpha, there was nothing in the ship's design that actually made it relevant. Like, it didn't actually matter whether or not your ship or their ship had... Well, whatever setup it had, it didn't really matter. It actually did not matter in the slightest. Because all that mattered was that your ship had the parts. And I'm pretty sure that's still the case. I'm pretty sure that all that matters is that your ship has the parts. 
Sheesh. Well, okay, that's bad. Did you kill this thing already? Wow, that is not going down fast at all. All right, well, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't redesign ships, so I can't deal with this heavy armor thing with, like, say, 360 mounts that allow me to maneuver around. No. No, I can't. That's what I would do if I was actually playing a multiplayer game. And get a turret mount that would work properly in this situation, rather than having to deal with this crap in a really inefficient way. I feel like at this point, I'm a bit surprised the design menu is not open. I mean, I guess the design is sort of happening already, but it's like I'm just kind of surprised it's not an open thing already. So are these... Oof. Are those turret mounts? Maybe not? No, they're not. I can attack from behind. Should have done that in the first place. Oh, shoot. Alright, so the ships can't really turn. Their turrets cannot turn. And I don't think there's a queuing system of any sort. <sighs> okay, this is getting kind of tedious. I might just leave off this X to stop. Alright. Oh, come on! Does it have to keep rebuilding these ships right after I kill them? Oh, great. No. Not what I want. Yeah, it does. What the heck? How am I supposed to deal with that? I guess just have enough ships in this region that it doesn't matter when they die. Because there's actually no population limits of any kind in this game. That mechanic does not exist in this game. Oh, darn it. I can't kill them, though. <sighs> that is annoying as heck. Okay, capture the point, and we'll be done with this. Oh, hey, they did not auto-rebuild! Hooray! I actually won. That was... Okay, whatever. What the heck? Is that just a... Oh, is that a difficulty setting? Okay. Didn't realize there was one. Let's check out multiplayer. Why not? I don't know. Randomly join a host. And apparently I have no ships to work with. Crap. Okay, that's bizarre. In the original game, not the original game, in the alpha, there were ships that you had that weren't, all, that were pre-built for you. They didn't have to build on the fly, as I'm doing right now, because I basically have no other choice. Shoot. Ah, darn it. All right, that's that's a mistake. I guess I have to design ships in the meantime. Because I have no real... Te I have no templates. Why are there no templates? There used to be templates. Templates used to be a thing in this game. Why are they not a thing? I can see why Scott... Well, someone in Zero Kick Community is getting really pissed off at this game, and I was wondering why, and now, I'm, now I can kind of see why. Because, yeah, that's a weird design decision. Why is it that I have to do this stuff... Oops, next one. Why do I have to do this stuff without any kind of pre-built template of any kind? That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, where's a battery? It's just some throwaway units that I can pull out. I need something throwaway to actually get through this. At least that works all right. I mean, part of the point of the game is to design ships during the game. It's just that if you don't have the ships all ready to work with, it's not really feasible. Like, sure, you can kind of design the ships throughout the game. Yes, fair enough. You can, technically. But, whoa, what the heck is... Eey, that's going to be tough to deal with. I think my big Tesla drones are not going to have a chance. 
But who knows? They don't have to worry about any kind of spacing. They just can't move. At all. Because they're kind of one-shot suicide ships, because that's a basic ship design. Uh, what do I want to do here? Okay, put on a reactor just so I have something for the next design. Okay. Crap. So, yeah, this is not going well for me for the simple reason that I don't really... Oh, right, I wanted to get something different for these ships, not the exact design they have right now. These ones, I do not want to have that mount. I want to have 270 turret mount will do. Wow, that's, that's some range. And that's the only ship I have. No! Actually, wait. Go capture a thing. Generate some energy, but mostly go capture a thing. I'll make some throwaway ships just in the meantime. And you go raid more. Capture more things. So yeah, it's a plasma turret. I believe that does well against armor, as I recall. But I don't recall very well what it actually does. Nope, I lost. Uh, okay, well, I gotta exit this. Apparently, apparently, I need to actually make my own ships before doing anything. That That's a mistake, as far as I'm concerned. There should be templates. There were templates before. Why are there no templates anymore? I think... Why am I still in this match? No. Leave. I, I can't play. I need to actually build stuff first, apparently. I... Yeah, that I don't agree with. Right, there should be some kind of template. There should be templates of some kind. Because otherwise you end up with really weird situations where it just... What are you supposed to do? I mean, really, when I think about it, what am I supposed to do other than, I don't know, just mess around with this? It's like, I want to play. I get the game I want to play. Why would I want to wait? Oh, wait, that should be on a 360 mount. I don't know. A very weird ship design. I don't know a huge amount about the actual logistics of the ship design in this game, so... Yeah, bear with me if I'm a little bit silly. Actually, just a battery will do, I think. Batteries are much cheaper than generators, but they don't actually produce energy. They just store it and give you energy to start with. They give you more energy to start with. How much does this cost? Oh, 3D1, it's not bad. I don't like making battlecruiser type ships. If, if you're not... If it's not clear already, I... I like to make ships that are relatively versatile. I don't like ships that are... And no, this is not a spring engine RTS, actually. Someone's asking me in the chat. No, this is not spring engine. This is actually a complete... This is a web-based thing, actually. And it's... Yeah, it's not at all related to spring. It's just that there are developers... Well, Sackdoth in particular has done a lot of spring engine development. And that's basically why I'm doing this. Because it's like, you know what? Someone has done a lot of spring engine development. I might as well show off some other stuff they've been working on because it's cool stuff. I'm having a lot of $200 ships. Okay, you know what I need to do? This is a junk design. Put a reactor on that. Yeah, that'll probably be okay. So that's kind of an anti raider raider. That I guess will work okay. I don't know. I don't know what I've got. <laughs> Oh, I need a battery reactor. Oops. I wonder it seemed cheap. Too much engine draw? Really? Wow, okay. Huh. Now it's fairly expensive and looks like crap. Ah, whatever. 
Not the most aesthetically pleasing designs. I would put more effort in if I had more time, but I don't. So let's go back to the multiplayer and see if what I have now will do any good. No, I like this. I can actually... Oops, no. Leave game. I like that these have different game sizes on there. It's like, that's cool. That's something Zero K could use. His actual sizes. Like, it's not just small teams, big teams, 1v1. It's like 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, like all the different sizes. Oh. Can I sort by players? Oh. All right, cool. I'm ready. Well, as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Where's my... Oh, right, there it is. So let's get this going. Raid some stuff. I think I have a couple... No, I don't. In fact, I seem to be at the disadvantage right now. All right, get out of there, and... Ooh, right, yeah, because those are my riots. Actually, they're they are riot units. Not even raiders. They're they are anti raiders. Oh, I can't remember what what missile gets through armor or what weapon gets through armor again. Is this phase missiles? I think it was phase missiles. I want to say phase missiles. And these things aren't going anywhere near the control points, which is giving me a lot of leeway. Although they also have missiles. Where are my missile launcher units? Aha! And that's... They're pulling out raiders, so I can pull out my little anti-raider. Alright, I gotta design something here. I think it's the phase bomb. Is what I need. Put it on a wing. Put it on an engine. Actually, put it on two engines. And I don't really need that much more than a battery. So if that's enough, that's enough. Oh, I can't do... I can't produce those yet. Shoot. That's one downside about this, is that I can't really do much. Oh, those things turn way too slow. Shoot, I have to get these a tiny wing. That's not much more expensive. All right, cool. And these, I want to have get rid of these enemies over here, which I don't think I can. Like, I don't think I can easily specifically say, attack that. No. Shoot. It's not what I wanted. Can I? I, I don't remember. Is there a way of telling it to attack? No, there's no way to tell it to... There's no way to tell it to attack, apparently. Like, specifically target. I want to target this one thing. Actually, I believe I complained about that when I was first playing the alpha. That there was no way to do that. That's that's a bit of a problem to me. Actually, that's a big problem to me. Because if I want to attack this thing right here, I can't tell my unit to hold fire. Okay, whatever. This is... Oh, I can't surrender? Oh, I can. Okay. Maybe I should get a large unit myself. I just don't like building large stuff, but yeah, let's try it. Ah, shoot. Yes, I realize it's broken design. I get it. I don't need to turn. I need this, and then I need this, and then I need this big reactor here, and then I need this. And then I need the utility stuff here that gives me more range, I think, or something. Reload time boost. And then... Oh, right. I need turrets on these things. And then, I don't know. That's for sure. Why not? What? No energy. I just... Oh! Oops, that's not a reactor. This is a... Ugh. Darn it. Yes, yes, I realize turn speed is slow. That's kind of the point. This is meant to be a heavy design, and now I got, got to start over again. Okay, let's try that again. Whoa, that's not enough energy. Crap. Seriously? Come 
Can I scrap designs or something? Because I feel like I'm going to need to do that. Oh, wow. Those are some long-range missiles. Of course, they have their raiders going, so I can't... What the heck? I give you wings. How many wings do I need? Uh, that's one thing I have finding annoying about this game is... I mean, okay, I realize this is a big slew of things here telling me all this stuff, but I don't know. I guess that's useful. Okay, well, what's this turn rate? All right, well, let's try that then. I <laughs> have a ba weird battle cruisery thing with more... More energy, at least. Not sure if it'll do any good. Well, are you going to attack or what? Uh, I don't know what to do against missiles. I really don't. Oh, wait, there's point defenses. Point defenses are a thing. Hey, Maybe I should just make a point defense unit. I don't know. Wow, this game has managed to make me go from, eh, whatever, I don't really care to, oh, come on. Couldn't you at least give me something? Because seriously, couldn't you at least give me something? Oh, this is annoying. Like, I don't have anything to start with. Why am I even allowed to multiplayer game without having a decent setup already? Ay, like, templates. Come on, you had templates before. You did it right before. Why now have you changed and are no longer doing it right? Well, yeah, obviously, because I'm busy designing a ship. Like, having templates you can build up from, fine, whatever. Having templates, you pretty much... Oh, I don't want... I don't want well, I guess I kind of need that, because I've... It's a bit of a hard read, but yeah. All right, there's my... Are those my anti-raider? Those, those are my anti-raider units. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Oh. Shoot, where are my point defensers? Oh, my point defenses are nowhere near there. Great. Totally wrong area. The point of, there, you are the point defense units. Get over down there. Down to where you actually are needed. Point defense cruisers. Do your thing. Get rid of missiles. Aren't you there to get rid of missiles? Come on, get rid of the missiles. Uh, how much energy do I need? It's not super clear how much energy I need to make things work. Oh, not enough energy for weapons. Okay, I guess it was clear. My mistake. Ay. All right. See if the point defense cruisers don't do their job. Are you gonna do your job? Well, at least you push things away. Making it harder. Still not great. Still. Wow, okay, so coming in, I'm at a huge disadvantage because there's no basis for me to work from. There's no starter pack, there's no templates, there's nothing. Like, I don't even know where to start with this. And yeah, okay, there's a campaign, I suppose, but that wasn't giving me all the units I... That only gave me the last units I designed. And it's like, i trying to jump into multiplayer. This is not making the game look any good. Yeah, this is a really bad first impression. And this is for a game that I've already played. It's just worse. I hate to complain, but yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. I... What? Okay, I guess battery and then, I don't know. Autocannon? 
Why not? How do I copy? Okay, someone, someone's telling me to copy other players' designs. How the hell do I do that? There's too much going on, no time. I, how the heck do I copy other players' designs? Oh, wait, that's not cheap at all. What the heck? Like, there's no copy operation. I can't just say, oh, I want this. Well, there's a couple of other template stuff, but I can't I can't look at frenzy mode stuff and copy it. Okay? So that's not exactly a thing I can do. Not without wasting everyone's time or trying to be super carefully looking at shit. I don't have How is that that's not an option. Okay, that's not a viable option. Unless they had an actual thing that was literally copy design or look at design that I don't see here. And I don't see it immediately. It basically doesn't exist from just considering a UI perspective, like UI development perspective. Something doesn't obviously exist. It doesn't exist. So there's no there's no reason to try to point out stuff if it if I can't see it immediately within a few seconds. It effectively does not exist. Aye. Wait, can you actually right-click an enemy ship to duplicate what they have? I don't see it. <sighs> I would make something that makes sense if I had time or any knowledge of what those stats really meant in context, in the context of all the other things that my opponents could do. Which is why having templates would be the best option so your players have a good thing to start from. Rather than guessing wildly as to what makes sense. <sighs> Not to mention, I don't really like heavy ships. I feel like it's really hard to get set up. But it's not templates would be nice. Okay, it's not that templates would be nice. The game had templates. The alpha version of the game had templates. The entire design bar was filled up with perfectly serviceable, if not, I, if, maybe not optimal ships, but good ships you could start from that spanned weight classes and approached problems from different ways. You had a decent option set right out of the gate. And now you don't. And it's like, what do I do? Even if I were to copy stuff, for one thing, this person is playing with a lot of ships that are either much heavier or much lighter than I want. Like, some of them, I'm not even sure what the ships are. Yes, that's the point. Everyone starts with templates. Everyone starts with something good. Sure, not everyone make custom things, but at least you'd be less frustrated. People would still customize as they go for, oh, this doesn't fit my style, or oh, this doesn't work very well. But at least people would have something to start with, rather than being thrust in with nothing. Like, what is that even? That's not even a weapon. That's just scouting. But no, variety at the cost of the ability to jump into the game when you don't know how it goes and at least start somewhere is not worth it. It is not worthwhile variety. I mean, if anything, it I would say that templates actually promote variety. Look at my ships right now. This is my ships based off of, here's what I kind of want to make. These four ships here that I've made are darn near, are very similar, not quite identical, but... They're all similar idea of couple engines, power source, and weapon in not quite not not only that specific setup, but also the specific configuration. Wet wing on the right, power source on the or wing on the left, power source on the right, couple engines in the back. Minor variations between them, but that's the thing. They're my ships. This is kind of the style of ship that I'm gonna be gravitating towards, given no other options. This is what I've made. There's been a couple that have been a bit different and a bit random and wacky. But for the most part, I've been I've been making identical ships, or very nearly identical ships, very similar ships. Because there's a particular style that I have a comfort with. But if you want to make the ships more interesting, you want to make the game more interesting, the better option would be to have those not be the only the first thing you make is whatever you feel like making, but rather make it so that people have 
weight classes and have examples to work from, and then they vary off of that. And then you still end up with variety, but you don't end up with everything starting out the same because people are forced at the very beginning, well, not forced, but they have at the very beginning options that aren't forced, but they're the easier options that give them something that they can basically start from that aren't all identical or aren't nothing. I know the positions don't matter. The point is that I have built three or four ships with basically the same archetype. Because that's the archetype that I find relatively comfortable in terms of speed like speed to cost, like speed par- firepower to cost. And that's not the only archetype that exists, but that's the one I'm gravitating towards. Very clearly, I'm gravitating towards that. With templates, I might have one or two ships like that, but then I have a bunch of other ships across other weight classes. So that's... I just don't... I don't like that design philosophy idea. I just don't... It, that just bugs me. And I don't really see how it's not a competitive game when the entire point of the game is essentially you're designing better and better ships to deal with what you're dealing... to deal with whatever you're fighting against until you manage to actually win. Or win consistently. So yeah, I just don't really. I I really think this game needs te- I, this game needs templates. Not I think this game needs templates. Actually, come to think of it, five ships that are the same archetype. I didn't even notice this was the same archetype as the others. So yeah, I have five ships that are the same type. So if anyone who says templates kill variety, look at this lineup. Okay, this is where I went without templates, which is the same design five times. I mean, I might mess around with it because that gives me more variety to work with, but. That's the thing. Without templates, I'm going to, and probably assume most people, are going to make similar things, or going to make several similar types of things. Whereas with templates across weight classes that I had before, you have something to work from that's not all the same. (sighs) Anyway, that's... I'm, yeah, kind of disappointed. I was hoping I would enjoy this game a lot more than I had, because... I thought it was alright before, but that was when it had templates, and without templates, it's just so much so much less fun. Or at least, it's so much harder to get in. There's just this problem that you basically have like, you have nowhere to start, so you're lost at first, and there's really no indication of how you're supposed to approach things, and then you're just going to get caught up in whatever your own style is, to the detriment of both the variety aspect, which people are valuing, and also the ability to actually make something effective. Uh, what are they using? Not sure what they're using. Autocannon and a couple other things. Eesh, what's that? Well, I have a heavy cruiser type ship. Actually, I have a couple of them. Now I think about it. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious that I like light, light hyper-aggressive options. Oh yeah, right. Phase bombs. Phase bombs are actually really good here, aren't they? Because phase bombs, I believe phase bombs penetrate armor, or at least they used to. Uh, which one was the phase bomb one? I can't remember offhand. Okay, it was this one. Oops. It was this one. All right, go. Don't need these, just need more more phase bombs. Do I have too many units or something? What the heck? Oh, that's why, because I was building one of my big battle cruiser ships. Yeah, I'm relying a lot on my probably relying a lot more on micromanagement than I should be. Oh, wait, what am I doing with you close by? What the heck? Yeah, I want my turn rates. I want my turn rates, I want my turrets, I want everything to be able to just tear my opponents apart without having any concerns. Are those shield generators? I think they are. But yeah, as you can see, I have a style. I have a style that I like. 
and to an extent it is kind of a build to counter my opponent's style, but for the most part it's light units, go around the map, capture stuff, that's what I like to do. I like to be aggressive and speedy and just generally mess with stuff by getting in and being a bit of a pest. Like that's just my way of wanting to play games, or at least that's how I tend to play Pretty much any kind of strategy game, fighting game, whatever. Like, I like rushdowns. I like rushdown characters. I like rushdown abilities. I like Cloaky Bot Factory and Spider Bot Factory and Zero K because those have the same property of basically just being able to just do stuff hyper aggressively. Okay, well, that should. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the phase bomb at work. I think I just won. Yeah, just won. Okay, well, at least I won a game. But yeah, this is what I mean. That's that's my entire style. This is my style. Oh, I see. Apparently, you click on a unit, hit F, and right click. What? Oh, that's how to target an enemy is I hit F and then right click. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Ah. All right, cool, whatever. I'm just going to ah, leave. Okay, whatever. I Okay, I guess that's interesting that follow unit is target. Weird. Okay, I looked at the controls, but Yeah, if you're going to Okay, let's see what I was doing here. Well, anyway, that was Istralid, which was not... Uh, I kind of like the way it was set up in the alpha more. <sighs> I mean, I guess I got my... What is this for? I guess you just put here... Oh, okay. I mean, I guess there are some templates, but... Oh, wait, that's my campaign stuff. Why is there no template line, though? Like, they could have they had the exact perfect system for a template. You make one of these lineups, the template basic lineup, and you can use that if you like, or you can entirely start from scratch. And then it's even better. Best of all worlds. I don't understand. I, I just... That was... I want to know what the motivation was to actually get rid of the template system. Because if it was variety, I don't really respect that, given that, like I said, this lineup system, this fleet system, provides a perfect way to both allow for variety by letting people just have an entirely free lineup that they can make up on their own, and also have the template option for people who just want to be able to get in, drop in, and have a decent set of units that they can build upon for themselves by having it be the default lineup. Like, everything here is set up to allow for the, everything to be built in the most optimal way for everybody, for people who want hyper customizability and for people who just want to jump in and have a decent set of units to work with while they first start out the game. Everyone be happy. That's a missed opportunity. I mean, I guess there's still time. It's still technically beta. There's still time to fix that, but it just seems like this fleet system allows a perfect opportunity to please everybody. To please both people who want the competitive aspect of it and please people who want the sandboxy aspect and don't want anyone telling them what to do in terms of ship customization. It just seems like the perfect solution for everybody. But I mean, overall, like, I guess mechanically, it works all right. It's, I mean, it's fast. If you like fast, simpler RTS style games, this is perfect. Just bear in mind, you're going to have to either go through the campaign or run, run a little time in the design workshop. Like give yourself an hour or two in the design workshop to get stuff that's halfway decent and then build upon it. But yeah, I would really recommend adding or putting back the templates as the default fleet lineup. And then that would probably just fix that. a lot of my problems that I have. And a lot of problems that, not just me, a lot of the problems I've been hearing about, like that would fix them. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. So I hope you enjoyed that. Bit more negative than I wanted it to be. I really wanted to be praising this game in high heaven because, well, it was 
it, I played it before, and when I had the templates, I didn't feel like I had to spend an hour building up everything beforehand. And then I could just build up stuff throughout, and I could just work from, okay, well, this works, and play around. Because the other thing about templates is that it becomes easier to play around with different weapon types, figure out what they can do well, and then you go, oh, okay, I need that, but I want that on, say, a lighter body, or I want that with more more engine power, or I want that combined with this other thing, and then you just build that up. Or you just take what you have and you customize it for dealing with what your opponent has directly, and then that works fine. But at least you have a s relatively safe starting point that you can then build off of. Anyway, that's my rant. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and have a good night, everyone. Although, actually, for people who watch for Camera Mode 0K, expect Sunday, not Saturday stream, because I'm going to be busy Saturday morning, and I don't think I'll be back home in time for the standard Saturday stream. So it'll probably be Sunday, not Saturday. But yeah, other than that, have a good night, everyone.